Good morning, Todd Rossi in Great Falls Construction Gourmet here again at the Village Burn Apartments in Scarborough, Maine. And today what we're doing is putting a vapor barrier over the soils right before we pour the slab. And the value of that is to prevent any moisture coming up from the soils into the concrete. We have to be able to put our flooring down and any moisture in the concrete will be a problem. So right now, as you can see, we've raised up all of the areas with the soil. Uh, we put our insulation. This is very important to insulate for frost and cold uh, so that it doesn't lift your concrete slab. And now the fellows are putting on a, a vapor barrier. It's 10 mils thick. And that'll hold down all of the moistures, prevent it from basically wicking up below the ground into the concrete. So it gets rolled out, cut. It's got a special tape where it's connected together so there's a somewhat of an overlap between from the first uh, roll to the second. And then we'll cut out for the utilities, but of course we'll, uh, we'll close that in and tape over those to make those whole openings as small as possible. This is a very important step in the process of uh, basically setting up your foundations before you can be able to start framing your walls. This will take a couple hours to do. And we're cleaning up all of our edges around the perimeter right before we, before we pour tomorrow. So right now all of the uh, vapor barrier has been installed and what we're doing now the finishing touches around all of the penetrations which are all the piping that goes through those vapor barriers so we're going to tape those down tape them around the pipes we're also installing uh, additional wire when we pour our uh, concrete slab so we want to make sure that um, there might be some when we when we cut away around the pipes we want to make sure that those are tightly secured to the pipes so that no vapor moisture comes through. And then on the additional perimeter, as you can see, I mentioned before, we're putting what's called a tearaway. That's a foam pad that goes around the entire perimeter so that when the concrete slab gets poured down on top of our vapor barrier, you don't have the concrete wall and the concrete floor touching so that they can independently uh, adjust through the seasons independently. So here's a close-up. You've got our concrete wall, foundation wall, and then down in here is where we're going to put our slab. And so when the slab will be poured, it'll abut up to this piece of tearaway foam so that there's always a, a gap between the wall and the slab so that any time there's any adjustment between the two materials, this foam will either shrink or contrast, so there won't be any force or pushing on top of each other for damage, or pushing against each other. This is Todd Rostein of Great Falls Construction, Gore, Maine. Checking out, uh, again, any questions that you may have, please feel free to call. Our office is 207. 839-2744. Thank you. Also, feel free to look us up on Facebook, which is greatfallsinc.com. Have a great day.